Ready. Play. Thank you very much. It was a uh, it was great match, great battle. Especially, I'm super happy with the win, especially against um, Vera, who is a uh, really great player. And um, yeah, just super happy with the win. <laughs> Uh, not really. I, I actually don't care when it's warm or cold. Uh, you can adjust uh, your strings and, and, and feel good. And I felt fine. I was just super. I mean, I was sweating a lot. That was the only one problem. <laughs> I mean, first week uh, after uh, Paris, when I was practicing on grass, I thought that I completely for, for, uh, forgot how to play on grass, and I was thinking to skip running because I thought like I'm not gonna make it. Um, but then, like uh, after a few days, I kind of started feeling grass better and, and start um, playing better, feeling better, and really enjoying playing on grass right now. Did you have one? Did you have one? Yeah, and then run. So can I go? I yeah. go first. Mm -hmm. um, Half an hour ago, uh, Rybakina told us that um, the grass here feels a bit different than Wimbledon. It's a bit faster for her and the, the ball bounces a little bit different. It's more unpredictable, would you agree? Um, I would say that uh, last year it was, I mean, it was not like terrible, but it was really tough to play on this grass. It was really like wavy and it was tough to adjust. Uh, but this year I think grass is much better, um, it's, it's less weird bounce, it's still there, I mean it's grass, I think it will be there. Um, and honestly, I don't remember course at Wimbledon, I didn't play there for a year, not for a year, like uh, I, I missed it uh, last year, so I don't remember, and I mean probably she right because she played last year. From what I remember, probably it's a little bit slower at Wimbledon. Um, but, I mean, come on, it's good for her. <laughs> <laughs> so, the last time we saw you on court was um, in Paris, and it was a difficult loss, oh, uh, if you like. Really. Um, how, how easy is that to get over? Um, do you want to get back on the court as soon as possible, or do you prefer to have a, a longer break? And how is it psychologically? Uh, Grand Slam straight away, another semi-final and have the same situation and I want to get out from that situation as a winner, you know? <laughs> but it was really tough, it was really tough and I didn't watch final because I felt so bad, I felt like it was almost like my, my final and uh, I was like, I had my dream in my in my pocket, but then I just gave it uh, to Muchiva. I mean, she's a great player and she played unbelievable tennis, but still I got a lot of opportunities and didn't use it and yeah, I need some Time to recover from that loss, like at least a few days. That's why I went for, for I went to Mallorca to kind of switch off and change the picture and, and, and start everything over again. Would you do anything different in that semi-final? What, what would you? Yeah, definitely. I would go through the middle if something isn't working. Just through the middle. I don't know how many times I need to do it, but I would just in that uh, five, two, three love. I would just go through the middle with. Unfortunately, life doesn't work like that. You have to learn and you have to uh, move on. Uh, I'm really sorry to ask a question a little bit away from sports, but uh, yeah, you had the trouble in Paris and you also said uh, that you uh, don't support the war and Lukashenko. And I would like to ask if you had any reactions and what were the reactions on the state? Um, I'm not talking about politics and I just want to stick into tennis. I'm not political. There are not many stadiums named after uh, women in, in tennis, uh, mm. playing in one today. Uh, what does it mean, uh, Steffi Graf's legacy for you? And do you think if someone can achieve uh, the Golden Slam in, in this era? I don't know actually, it's really, it's really tough to compare that days and these days, but she's a legend, she did oh my God, amazing. And uh, that's really great that uh, they named, named the stadium um, her name. Um, and these days, I don't know, uh, everything is improving, fitness improving, mental health improving, 
everyone is getting really strong and um, it's really tough like uh, if you make one mistake then you're not gonna make it you know I mean the uh, golden slam so these days um, I'm not sure like you have to face Iga on clay, you know, like then Elena on, on grass court, and of course you can get those wins, but one mistake and you will lose it. So I think it's it's not like it's not impossible. Everything is possible, but it's it's really tough. It's um, I mean I wish someone uh, would uh, would make it. Probably me, but <laughs> <laughs> going to be really tough. Yeah, go ahead. Um. How did you receive the announcement of Conte Vade's retirement today? I was shocked. I was really shocked that something I didn't expect. I was the fir my first thought was like, girl, go see different doctors, like different opinions, that just do something. There is no way you can retire in, retire to this age. And, and she was such a great player. She was in top 10. She was doing really well. For me, I'm really sad and I hope she's, she's doing well and I hope she... Uh, she will recover from this uh, very soon and will not get depressed. Uh, and she, she has to be proud of herself. She, what she's done in tennis and um, yeah, what she's done is, is it's amazing. And I wish I wish her best and the best life in her next chapter. But yeah, I was I was really surprised and shocked and sad. Just sort of following up on one or two of the comments here. Um, you were close in Paris, and one or two of us in the media were thinking, she's great on grass. Hardcore, we know. The Grand Slam, we were thinking about it. Uh, we were. Were you? Was there one part of you thinking, oh, it, it could be me? Yeah, of course. Of course, I was thinking and I was hoping, and I don't know why, like since my, since I don't know what age, I was thinking that my first Grand Slam will be clay court. I have no idea why I thought so. No idea. I don't know. I just, I don't know. Maybe I like, I love Paris, that's why. And when I, when I was going to the semi-final match, I was thinking that, I mean, I can make it to the final at least, and then it's the final of the Grand Slam, and of course it's a lot of pressure on Iga. And I thought, of course, I thought that I have, I have a big chance to win it, but, well, probably thinking is not my best. <laughs> it's not my weapon. <laughs> Next time I'll just hoping, probably, <laughs> and trying to focus on myself instead of these uh, outside uh, thoughts. Any other last questions? Yeah, last one here. And do you think you might get a, a stadium name after you in your country someday? Something so. <laughs> I mean, I really hope that there is going to be, I don't know, a big tournament in Belarus with a huge stadium, which is most likely not possible to be honest. <laughs> but I mean, I wish, but I don't know. I don't. I don't think so. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss out on all things tennis.